it wouldn't be a bad idea to see people other than Tea Party folks out there on the street demonstrating, writing letters to the editor. So instead of just being on the defensive, I would like to see the president and the Democratic Party get our people moving aggressively. Is there any fight left? Well, next up, Senator Bernie Sanders, independent of Vermont. Our side is dormant, quiescent. We've given up. I would like to see the president and the Democratic uh, Party start urging people all over the country to start calling up Republican senators. There are billions of dollars in the Air Force, Army, Navy of unused and unneeded spare parts that are languishing in warehouses. And then there's an example where I disagree with the, with the president. I don't know why you're bringing Republicans in to talk to energy. He says you can fight, but you're not going to win against these hostage takers. So we well, can't let I, Americans you see, I be I think hurt. that's a very pessimistic attitude and one that sells short the American people. You know, if they want to fight, if they want to slow down everything, if they want to destroy the president, you've got to fight back. One of the arguments we always hear is, well, the government can't do any of these things because it doesn't have the money, doesn't have the revenues. You've advanced well, let me, a proposal. Let me just say this. Single payer saves you. It saves your money. Well, I'm with you. But I was segueing, I thought, so smoothly to the question oh, of your, well. your oil tax break bill that maybe would bring some more revenues into federal coffers. Seems to me you could create and save some good paying jobs by saying, okay, that health care plan didn't work. A single payer nonprofit plan would make it easier to hire people, would reduce costs, would get everybody covered. You know what? As part of our jobs initiative, we're not going to freeze spending. We're going to turn up the heat on single payer. Well, I agree with you. <laughs> and you're right. Single payer will save hundreds of billions of dollars by eliminating a whole lot of bureaucracy and waste and in fact put more people into health care. What about energy policy? There was a meeting um, with the president and senators this week. We now have the potential today to transform our energy system away from fossil fuel, oil and coal to energy efficiency and wind, solar, geothermal, biomass and other technologies and when you do that you create millions of good paying jobs. That's a fight that some of us are trying to wage. No support from the Republicans. Obama's doing something, not enough. If not now, then when, you kind of wonder. Bernie, you, you lived through the Clinton years. You saw Clinton um, embrace uh, the deficit hawkism that brought us a balanced budget, but also poverty. Um, what would be your lesson from that? Maybe your advice to Barack Obama? You need a progressive agenda. You go to the people as Obama did so successfully in his campaign, you rally their support in taking on the big money interests who have done so much damage to our country. Bernie Sanders, thanks so much. We'll continue to follow the mobilization on the streets and in the Beltway here on GRIT TV. And Bernie Sanders, you always help. Thanks a lot. Don't forget, tell your friends about our program. Thanks for watching.